with these individuals, they'll be carrying baseball bats, they'll be carrying pipes, knives, what, what have you, any type of weapon, and they're really in a moment of psychosis to where they are not making sense, they're screaming obscenities, they're whatever, and you have to walk past that, right? Um, people have to walk past that and they have to deal with it, and so it's kind of jarring and, and, and can be really, you know, traumatizing to some people, especially young children. You know, uh, I grew up around a lot of drug use and people acting erotic, uh, you know, um, and not acting right. And it, it, it had an impact on how um, how I grew up. Okay. Get home safe. Come on, man. After I made the video down here with the children, it, it created such a ruckus that they put up these fences, like kind of like, again, a grandstand to try to act like they were gonna do something. And I actually almost fell for it. I was like, oh man, we're having a policy change. We're gonna be doing a little bit better out here. And uh, it just didn't turn out like that. It's just back to the business as usual. Um, as soon as Brooke Jenkins got elected, it's like she should carry her spot, so who cares? Uh, and it's kind of sad that these, uh, these neighbors have to be sandwiched in between 8th and Mission and 7th and Mission. Both bus stops are basically being hijacked by um, drug dealers and, and drug users. And, and it's turned into like one of the biggest open air drug markets here in San Francisco. Uh, and, and this is a main corridor for San Francisco. This is not like some back alley or like some uh, um, shoddy part of town. I pay um, $2,500 uh, a month for a studio apartment in this area this is not acceptable in my opinion that i should have to um live like this or or, or deal with this when i come outside to walk my dog or or to uh see a family member my family members don't even really like to come down here and see me because of the crime you'll see some of the drug dealers they're being wearing masks and ponchos This is the bus stop that I filmed the children getting off. It's kind of rough right here to get off the bus. I mean, it's a lot of homelessness, a lot of drug dealing going on. It's kind of, it's kind of sad, you know? You see this type of stuff. You see the San Francisco police paddy wagon parked right there, but you won't see anybody in the back of that van and you won't even see the police out here doing their job. I mean, we just walked through one of the biggest open air drug markets here in San Francisco and you'll see these people just out there selling and smoking drugs. Uh, and it's raining outside right now. It's not a cl really clear day. It's a pretty ugly day to be out here. So the activity is actually low today. Um, and it, it's just unbelievable that we can't get city officials to do their job. We cannot get the San Francisco Police Department to do their job to clean up our city so our children and our family members are safe walking down these streets. It's very sad.